Welcome back to Hallway Sports Network's Off the Track. I'm yours truly, Tony Hall. I'm speaking with Bangarang with uh, Texas Outlaws Roller Derby. Now, um, 2012 went by. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And how'd, yeah. How would you feel about that season we had? In? Um, I learned a lot in the last uh, six, seven months I've been playing, so I really felt that I've grown as a player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any, any. Um, since since we are in the month of January. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not not quite the, the first of the year, but of course uh, enough time to figure out what you're planning on doing as far as New Year's resolutions derby wise. Any uh, anything you might want to improve upon or work on or um, this just, year? Just becoming an all around better player, working on my blocking, trying to get faster as a jammer, be more be more adventurous as a jammer to get through those tight spots. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um, I'm noticing uh, that you're starting up this bit, this bit of rivalry between uh, between Southside Roller Derby and the and the Outlaws. So. Yeah, apparently they're coming after us with a vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know I know some of the skaters that, that have come in are, are former skaters from from Southside Roller Derby. They they've been sort of uh, giving you kind of trade secrets as we get closer to the game. Or? Not so much trade secrets as just helping improve on what we already have built as a team. Uh, they're just, they're a really good resource for new strategies and ideas. Yeah, so no, Southside has actually been around for a while, so they've, they've actually, there's sort of yeah, like a, they know what they're doing. an adolescent <laughs> team, if not a mature team like the, like, like in Austin, but, but, yeah. uh, but pretty much in the adolescent stage. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know. And they they gave you some give you some help as far as uh, what to do as far as a new league. Uh, skating, in. well, it's more like skating techniques, ways to better your blocking and jamming. Uh, mostly elementary stuff because I I'm still a rookie, so it's yeah. really any anything any advice they can give me it always helps. Okay, okay. And I guess that goes in, in uh, without saying as far yeah. as resolutions, you know, just improving upon your skating. And then, yeah, yeah. Going back a bit. Now, uh, what was the? What would you say would be the first moment that um, that you looked at this with you know Derby and said, "This is what I want to do." Um, uh, actually, um, like six years ago, I knew okay. I wanted to play roller derby. It was just not in the local area where I could get to it. It was up in Houston. I live in Santa Fe, yeah. so it's quite a distance to travel. True, true. I had to work full time, go to college, so it, things got in the way. But as soon as it came to Alvin, I I jumped on it. Yeah. Yeah. Something you always wanted to do. And yeah. Oh, what a hit! <laughs> yeah, if you, we didn't see that on on camera, but yeah, did we? <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. I hope so. Okay. That was good. <laughs> okay, but um, now getting back to getting back to this. Of course, um, I asked asked you why. What is it that um, you would be doing otherwise if you weren't doing derby? Well, I also do martial arts, so it's more like I added to the hobbies I already had rather than replace something else. So it's, so it's just just add a little bit of the icing on the cake. Yeah, so yeah. like I, I, had, I got a lot of balance training from doing martial arts, so it really helps on the track, mm -hmm. staying on my feet, because yeah. it's, it's hard. Yeah, getting down <laughs> in the fighter stance, I know that, yeah, yeah. can sort of improve your your balance yeah. on anything. Yeah, and it helps the awareness of where everyone is because when you're trained like that, you're trained to take in all your surroundings. So it's, it's interesting to yeah. apply it to a different field. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know that uh, I've, I've actually spoken with some of the derby girls about that who have, some who have had martial arts training and some who haven't. And, uh, mm -hmm. and, and of course, uh, the ones who haven't, they get, especially when they're new, uh -huh. they get into that zone where I don't see anybody else around me. And I'm, I'm just focused I'm just on the skates skate. right now. And then, and then they get sideswiped by the person they didn't see. Yeah, that, <laughs> that happens to people that are aware of those yeah. too, because I've flown yeah. 10 feet before, and it's yeah. not fun. Yeah, and who was the, uh, who was the pusher on that uh, one? Uh, Puncho Veja. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but that was Puncho. Uh, <laughs> so do it every time. You yeah. Like it. yeah, I know you have a few skaters in the Outlaws that are coming. You know, female wrecking crews, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One person wrecking ball. Yeah. Of course, if you get Poncho and her sister and, and yeah, they work the together. Yeah, dynamic team. duo. Yeah. <laughs> I always like it better when I'm on their team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, so the game coming up this Sunday against the uh, Southside Roller Derby. Now, um, 
all uh, excited about it coming up? Or? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little nervous this time because really? these girls have a lot more experience than I do. And, you know, our last game was extremely rough. And yeah. I'm, I'm really thinking it's going to be that times two. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to having new bruises, I guess. Yeah. Because I know they're going to be there. Yeah, so, so we were talking before about thinking, yeah, with other skaters about coming out of 2012 relatively unscathed. So. Yeah, well, I kind of tweaked my knee a little bit, but, you know, it got better. Um, hopefully I won't injure myself in this. That would, that would yeah. be horrible. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, we'll be looking forward to that game coming up this Sunday. Of course, it's at the uh, Texas Outlaws Roller Derby, Southside Roller Derby in Alvin, Texas at Alvin Skate and Party. Doors open at 6. Yep. Yeah. BYOB, bring yeah. your own chairs. All right. It's going to be that kind of a game. Yep. All right. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot.